Grace to you and peace in the name of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is a joy to greet you on this Wednesday, March the 1st, 2023. Welcome to St. John AME Church in Cleveland, Ohio, where I, Henry Curtis, serve as pastor. On this second Wednesday in Lent, let us begin by offering our prayer of confession to Almighty God. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hear now God's assurance of pardon. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Our collect today comes from the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find your mighty power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Our lesson today is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verses 10 through 18. Hear now the word of the Lord. And you shall eat and be full, and you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Take heed, lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and his ordinances and his statutes which I command you this day lest when you have eaten and are full and have built goodly houses to live in them and when your herds and flocks multiply and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied then your heart be lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage who led you through the great and terrible wilderness with its fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty ground where there was no water, who brought you water out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you and test you to do you good in the end. Beware lest you say in your heart, my power and the might of my hand have given me this wealth. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as at this day. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our key verse today is from Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter and the 18th verse. You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as at this day. Let us pray. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of thy tone. As thou hast sought, so let me seek thine erring children lost and lone. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In Christ's holy name we pray. 
Amen. Have you ever heard it said that too much of a good thing is bad? Those who have it bad, hearing that, can't imagine the quote-unquote burden of having too much of a good thing. But there is, my friends, a point where too much of anything, whether it be good or whether it be bad, will overwhelm us and carry us to a breaking point. Moses understood this during the time he referenced in today's text taken from Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter. For in this text, Moses prophesied to the people of Israel a time of great abundance. He tells them that the time shall come when they shall eat and be full. The time shall come when they will live in wonderful houses. The time will come where they will see the multiplication of their livestock and of their silver and of their gold. And Moses goes so far as to say in the text that everything the people have will be multiplied. Most of us would sign up for that program. But be careful, friends. There is a catch. Moses warns the people of God that while they're living it up, while they're living off of the fat of the land and everything is great in their world, they cannot forget one thing, and that is forget the God who has blessed them. Studies have shown that persons who hit the jackpot and win millions of dollars in the lottery are often broke after just five short years. It doesn't matter if they won five million or 50 million or 500 million dollars. Most of these persons are broke after five years. And the irony of that is this. Most of them were not broke before they hit the lottery. The point being, church, that for some people, not all people, when they strike it rich, they forget to manage their resources as responsible stewards of God's blessings in their lives. Moses in the text warned the people of God not to forget the God who is the source of their supply. Don't forget the God who has blessed you to come out of Egypt and to live in fine houses and to have the multiplication of your resources. Don't forget God. Don't take the credit because you didn't do it on your own. But Moses tells them in so many words, give the glory to God. Their wealth, though they might have thought differently, was not the byproduct of their industry but rather the people were blessed because of God's favor, God's mercy, and God's presence in their lives. The point of today's meditation is simply this. Don't allow too much of a good thing to carry you away from God. Jesus no doubt understood this when he said in Mark the eighth chapter and the 36th verse, for what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Don't lose your soul today with self-congratulations. Don't lose your soul today by forgetting the one who is the blessing in your life and the source of your supply. Rather, I've stopped by today to encourage you to praise God to praise God for what God is doing in your life, to thank God and to praise God for blessings great and small. We don't always understand where the blessing came from. We don't even understand why God chooses to bless us, but thanks be to God, he does. The songwriter said it this way, something beautiful, something good. All my confusion he understood all I had to offer him was brokenness and strife, but he made something beautiful of my life. 
we thank God that God does indeed take our confusion and our pride and our ego and our sin, and he puts it all together and washes it in the blood of Jesus and makes something beautiful of our lives. Thanks be to God. Amen. Please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. May the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Please accept this as our invitation to you to join us in worship here in our sanctuary at St. John AME Church, located at 2261 East 40th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103, on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. If you're unable to be with us in person, you may access our service digitally through our Facebook Live channel. Also, for those of you watching today on Wednesday, March the 1st, 2023, we will have our second worship service in our Lenten series this evening at 6.30 here in the sanctuary. To help others to be able to access this channel, please uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and share it with others so that they too may be blessed. Thank you so much for being with us today. Have a great rest of the day and we look forward to seeing you maybe even this evening or on Sunday. But until next time, be safe and be blessed. Goodbye.